Okay, in this video we're going to be checking out the LISM RC LS X140. This is the uh, pre-built model, or the bind and fly. It comes in a bind and fly and a plug and play. The, this one here is the bind and fly with the XM Plus receiver. I did a video on the frame, I did a build on this as well. Um, I'll do a comparison to my build in a little bit later in the video. Uh, but the main, I guess the main difference between the build I did and this one here is that uh, the one I did was a 2S build on an 1106, uh, 7500 KV, uh, 3BR or BBB motor. It's a pretty good motor. Uh, but this one here is an uh, 1206 motor at 4500 KV. And it's a uh, LISM RC branded motor. I don't know who else, who makes this, or if this is a rebrand, or if it's perhaps uh, made by someone else. But I, I don't, I, I'm not aware of Lism RC as a motor manufacturer, so this might be just a rebrand. Um, but yeah, it's a 1206 motor at a lower KV versus the 1106 at a higher KV. So uh, the previous build with the 1106 motor was running on 2S, this one was running on 4S. And um, we'll get into the comparisons here in a little bit here. Just let me just uh, talk about the build or the, the frame and the model. Uh, is, uh, you know, I already did actually talk about the frame and the model previously. Uh, but I'll just go over really quickly in case you guys missed that video. 3mm bottom plate, it's an H style frame, it's 140mm motor to motor, 115mm um, side to side, and 93mm front to back, so that's why it's an H style frame. Uh, I flew it as a top mount, so I put the battery here. Uh, you could also potentially fly it as a bottom mount if you wanted to. You could uh, run the battery strap underneath. Um, the stack on here is a 28 amp 4 in 1 ESC, the Beale Heli S D Shot 600. And uh, the flight controller is a uh, flight controller plus a video transmitter combo board. And uh, that one has a VTX uh, as well as F4 flight controller all in one board. I did a review on this stack earlier before, so uh, there's going to be links to cards here in the corner for other videos. Because there was a bunch of other ones that came before this that will cover the similar topics I'm talking about here. Now the camera here is some sort of generic. Uh, CCD camera, 600 TV lines. I think it is a different case on a camera that we've seen before. So it looks, looks like they just redesigned the, the outside plastic case where the lens screws into. But this looks like a Runcam uh, Swift clone uh, 600 TV lens with a. So it says it has a 2.1 millimeter lens, but I think it's more like the 2.3 millimeter lens from the Runcam Swift. Okay, so let's get into the comparisons here. First, let's get a weight measurement of the pre-built one. If you're not into building, uh, this is probably one of the better pre-built models to take a look at. Uh, coming at 97 grams and then uh, the build that I put together here is coming in at 94.6 grams. So fairly similar in weight. I am using different props. I'm using the props that this uh, model came with. They're basically the Yvonne, uh, Emacs Yvonne 3 inch props. But if we take a look at uh, the 1206 motor next to the uh, 1106 motor. And it's going to be kind of hard to see on camera. Try and get them side by side. You can see that the 1206 is just a little bit wider than the 1106, but the same height in terms of the stator. Now, in terms of performance, I think that uh, the 1206 motor is a little bit better than the 1106 motor. Now, it's not quite apples to apples type of comparisons here because we're talking 2S versus 4S. And on uh, 4S, it's going to be a little bit more efficient because it's not drawing as much amps compared to the higher KV motor on 2S. So um, you're going to get more sag on your battery on the 2S versus flying 4S. That's one thing I did notice is when you do do uh, punch outs, the top end power on the 2S uh, drops off pretty quickly, whereas it's a little bit more consistent on the 4S. Like you'll see that when I'm doing all a bunch of power loops. Uh, the 2S, I think, you know, again, not quite apples to apples comparisons here. I was running a 2S650 LiPo on this setup here and a 4S550 LiPo on the 4S. So, uh, in terms of overall energy capacity, the, the, the 550 4S actually has more energy. It does weigh a little bit more than the 2S650. So, I do get a little bit better flight times on the uh, 1206 setup here on 4S versus the 1106 on 2S. So I think that's kind of another reason to go to a lower KV motor and higher voltage is you can go with a you know a 550 4S battery and get a pretty pretty good decent flight time with not as much 
battery sag while you're flying around and you get a more consistent uh, flight uh, or consistent performance across the entire battery instead of like on these 2S setups here you know the first uh, minute, minute and a half, two minutes pretty decent and then the performance starts dropping off pretty quickly after that because you get a lot of battery sag um, once the uh, battery is about halfway empty. Anyway I think that they both fly pretty good. I like the the frames obviously here. The top mount I think is the way to go for this setup if you're into freestyle. Obviously you know they, they, they took a lot of uh, design cues from the Chameleon and kind of reduced it down to a three inch size with the aluminum cage and all that and I talked about that before in the previous video but in terms of flight characteristics they're pretty much the same it's just the power setup is different and, and that's you know what I was talking about in terms of like more consistent power across the entire uh, battery for the full like for this for example this one about four minutes and didn't really start dropping off until the very very end whereas on, on the six on the 2s setup it was kind of really good at the beginning and then it starts falling off much more quickly and also because it's the energy overall energy in the 652s is a little bit less the flight time is, is is actually quite a bit shorter on the 2s setup versus the 4s setup so I, I guess you know when I when I started to uh, make this build here I kind of had an idea that this was going to be my conclusion between these two models. I didn't actually have this yet, uh, the, the 4S setup, and I was fairly certain that the 4S was going to be a, a better setup than the 2S setup, even though I went ahead and built this. I, w I wanted to get this motor uh, and this KV to run it on 2S to compare it against the 4S setup, which I was fairly certain, and I think my assumptions were um, sort of they sort of panned out at the end there that, that what I thought was actually going to happen didn't happen. Uh, the things that I, th things that I uh, suspected in terms of the forest setup actually panned out to be true. So in the end, I think that if you are going to consider this frame and and the build, I would recommend not going with the 2S setup. Although it's, if you only have 2S batteries, obviously not much you can do about there. Um, but if you want, I think the things I talked about here in the forest setup, I would recommend getting the uh, plug and flow or the binder fly. Uh, with this 1206 motor um, for us, I think it performs really well, and I think you'll like, especially on the 554 s light mode that I used, I think you'll like the flight times and the overall performance uh, of that particular battery on this setup. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you the flight demo for this guy here in this video. If you want to see the flight demo for the 2S setup, uh, the card will be in the corner. You can click on that video and watch that, and of course you can then make your own conclusions as to which ones you think is better. Okay, so these are the uh, PIDs I'll be using. I think this is just, yeah, well, it's a little bit different from default. Yeah, I think I added uh, five to the roll P, otherwise default. I think this ought to be okay. You can hear a little bit of oscillation there already. So I need to lower the P gains, I think. Let's take this down to 35 and pitch. Take that down to 43 and let's take the yaw down as well. Let's take that down to 48. Let's see how that is. That's a little bit better. Well, this thing is really fast. Holy sh! <laughs> okay, so I think I can just add a little bit of TPA to get that last bit, which is at the top end of the throttle. So I'm going to land and adjust that. All right, so that's going to be. Underrate, I believe. And set point one. I'm going to dump, ju jump it up to point two five. All right, that would be pretty good. Let's 
Still a little bit there. Wow, this is really fast. <laughs> This park's way too small for this guy. So I think adding a little bit more TPA will help there. Maybe also dropping the P and D, or maybe the D gains a little bit as well. But this is good enough for me to fly it. Wow, it's ridiculous how much float that I got there. It's crazy. Oh, that's really crazy. Yeah, the tune's definitely a little bit off. Now I'm getting a beep, beeping. Wow. I really took that one back. So this one might be a battery killer at the 1206 stator size. It's going gonna, it's gonna to draw more amps than uh, the 1106, even though it's at 4,500 kV. Uh, but it's all—it's a bigger stator, and I'm and I'm on a bigger prop, a three-inch prop here instead of the two and a half inch I flew on the Phoenix. So yeah, this is—I expect a shorter flight time. I'm flying the same battery. Wind is still pushing me off to the street there. Well, I got to three minutes and at 14 and a half volts, assuming the uh, voltage meter is accurate. <laughs> yeah, power loops all day long with this thing. So yeah, the tune isn't perfect, but I think I got kind of in their range. If you want to use those numbers, uh, you can probably adjust it to your liking. Alright, drop below 14. Almost 4 minutes, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. I was expecting it to be far worse. but. It is a lower KV, so if you're kind of general on the throttle, you could probably, if you're not doing power loops all day like I am there, you could probably get a five minute flight. Assuming you're doing some light acro and just kind of cruising around. Uh, same 550 milliamp hour GNB for us that I flew on the Phoenix. But yeah, I think this thing de definitely needs a little bit of a tune. It didn't, it didn't come tuned or any kind of a setup out of the box, so that's a, I guess that's a little bit of a downside.